So, before we start, let's first ask for the uh, Lord's guidance. Let's close our eyes, bow our heads, and feel the presence of the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, I will be not in earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Amen. Okay, thank you guys. We now take your seat. Uh, by the way, good morning. Uh, good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, Sir Tuason. And also, say good afternoon to Mama Costa. Good afternoon, Mama Costa. Okay, loosen up muna. Relax, relax muna tayo. Ang comment ang mainit, pero i-relax muna natin ang mga utak natin. So before we start, let's first have a review. Uh, but before we have a review, let's first uh, discuss the objectives. So at the end of our class, you are expected to recall the concept of sample space S and the total number of possible outcomes N of S. Define and illustrate an event denoted by T. Find the number of elements of T denoted by N of T. And illustrate possible events of a sample space S. And of course, you are expected to manifest camaraderie and enthusiasm in performing the class activities. So let's have a recap of our lesson yesterday. Nakili pa kayo mabuti na hapon? Oo! Sige nga, kung talaga nakilig kayo, let's recall. So, yesterday we discussed about probability experiments and sample space. We defined outcome. So, what is the definition of outcome? Pakibasa na? It is possible result of a probability experiment. And we also defined sample space. What do you mean by a sample space? Is the set of all possible outcomes of prob probability experiments. It is the by the total number. Yes. By The total number is okay, continue. The total number of possible outcomes is denoted. 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 So let's have. A uh, simple activity para masukat kung talaga may natutulang kay kahapon. Determine the sample space S and the total number of possible outcomes N of S for each probability experiment. Dito lang konti para makita. Alright, so let's have this table. Flipping a coin, spinning a color wheel, and tossing a dive. Anyone who wants to give the sample space for leaving a coin? Yes, Ms. Pigedas. S is, S is one set of containers. Set, containing. Anong laman na? Head. Head or? Tail. Separated the gamma. Very good. Pwede rin namang ganito, di ba? Rowing. How we won. So, what is N of S? Yes, Mr. Kenya. N of S is equal to two. Very good. Because there are two outcomes. No? Let's have the next probability experiment. Spinning a color wheel. Anyone? Yes, Mr. Dayan. S is equal S is equal set containing red, yellow, and blue. Okay. Red, yellow, or blue. Set containing red, yellow, or blue. Pwede rin naman mag-glowing tayo. Ganyan, no? So, what is N of S? Yes, Mrs. Spinoza. N of S is equal to 3. Okay. Very good. Last probability experiment, tossing a dive. Yes, na. S, e S is equal to, sige, ito lang kayo. S is equal to the set containing, sige. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sige, ito lang kayo. Sorry po, ma'am. Natanggal na kami. 
Pakitibayan niya anak. Bagyan mo rin sa bibi. S equals A N of S na pala, no? N of S equals 6 Okay, so Yan yung pinag-aralan natin kahapon Sample space and the total number of possible outcomes Alright, so Let's now have A situation So Listen carefully This is the situation Suppose There are only three available snacks on the home canteen. Kunyari, tutom na tutom na kayo, punta kayo sa canteen. Tapos kunyari, so, kapag palagay natin, ang merienda lang sa canteen ay of the hanap. Ang merienda lamang sa canteen ay tatlo lang ang pagpipilian. Merong maruya, hot cake, or palabok. Kunyari, yun lang yung available talaga. Wala nang iba. Okay. So, what is our sample space? Pakibasa, ano yung sample space natin? S equals 10 of A, Maruya, Ate, Palabo. Okay. Yun lang yung ating pagpipilihan na merienda. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, we will list down all the sets of possible choices a student can make for his merienda. Kunyari, yung may tray ka. Kunyari, social yung coke of canteen natin. May tray. <laughs> Mamimili-mili ng merienda. Tapos ilalagay dun sa tray. Tapos kunyari, yung tray ninyo, yun yung set. Yun yung set. Ngayon, ano yung mga possible choice na pwede nyong ilagay dun sa tray or sa set ninyo? No? Oh, sige, let's list down possible choices. Okay? So, balik tayo doon. Ang sample space natin, set containing maruya, hot cake, palabok. Okay, anyone, magbigay ng isang set. Set containing, ipagpalagay nyo yung set nyo, yun yung tray. Yung tray na lagay ng pagkain, ano yung mga pwede nyo ilagay doon? Halimbawa, wala pa yung nagustuhan doon sa tatlo. So, anong set yun? Yes, anyone? Pagkakalaman ba yung set? Yes. Anong, anong tawag sa set na yun? Set containing ano? Set containing zero? Wala siyang laman. So, anong tawag sa ganong set? Empty. Empty. Okay, very good. Empty set or set with no elements. Yan. Empty set. Mag-drawing ka lang ng braces, tapos walang laman. Pwede ba yon? Pwede bang wala kang nagustuhan doon? Pwede. Posible. Okay. Magbigay pa ng ibang set. Halimbawa, meron kang isang nagustuhan lang doon. Sa tatlo. Anyone? Set containing? Yes, sa sorientos. Pwede yung set containing hot cake. Sige. Kung hot cake lang yung nagustuhan, ano pa? Yes, Mr. Delenya. Set containing maruya. Ano pa? Yes, Mr. Kadag. Set containing palabok. So, pwedeng, pwedeng tig-iisa lang yung nagustuhan mo. No? Set containing maruya, o di kaya set containing hot cake, o di kaya set containing palabok. Pwede rin bang higit sa isa yung nagustuhan nyo? Oh. Pwede rin. Kung matakaw ka, o di kaya nang sarapan ka talaga dun sa luto ng kantin eh. <laughs> Anyone? Magbigay ng another set. Yes, Ms. Lechodosio. Ano? Maruya or hot cake. Kami ka masagita, no? Ano pa? O, oh, nabanggit na yun ha. Maruya or hot cake. Ano pa? Yes. Set containing maruya or hot Set containing maruya or palabo. What else? Yes, Mr. Hibay. Set containing or palabo. Very good. Maruya hot cake. Maruya palabo. Hot cake palabo. Ito ganon. Ayan. Do you understand class? Yes. Oh, 
Meron pa bang pwedeng isang set pa na sagot? May iba pa bang set na sagot? Yes, what is that? Which, ano, detonio. Set containing. Set containing. Maruya and hot cake. Meron na, oh. Yeah. Hindi na dalawa na. Ano pa yung, ano pa yung isa pang possibility? May nagustuhan pa kanina, wala kang nagustuhan. Or di kaya may isa ka lang nagustuhan. O di kaya may dalawa ka lang nagustuhan. Or pwede din naman. Okay, very good. Na, pwede yung lahat magustuhan mo. May iba pa ba? May iba pa bang possibility? Wala na. So, how many sets are there? Ilang Four. Ilang sets yung dalis pa natin? There are eight. Ay, sets. Okay, so, may M kasama yung empty set. Okay, so, alam niyo ba kung anong tawag sa mga sets na yan? Ang tawag sa mga sets na yan ay some events. All the sets listed above are examples of events. So, this is, if this is the sample space S, itong mga walong set na ito, event ang tawag sa lahat ng yan. Sa bawat isa lang yan. This is an event. This is another event. This is another event. And so on and so forth. Marino ko ba guys? So, sige nga. Ano pang ibig sabihin kasi ng event? By the way, event is denoted by capital letter E. Yan ang symbol niya. Kung ang sample space ay S, ang event naman is capital E. Alright, let's now have the definition of event. O palagay nyo, On your own words, ano kaya ang ibig sabihin ng event? Sige, hindi nyo ma-recall. May pinag-aralan kayo nung grade 7 na pwede nyo magamit. Yes, Mr. Carillon? Meron ka bang gusto sabihin? Sige, try lang. Choices. Elements. Anong masasabi mo doon sa bawat set as compared doon sa sample space, yung pinaka buong set? Itong set na ito, ano siya nito? Itong set na to. Itong set na to, ano siya ng set na to? Itong set na to, ano siya ng set na to? Bawat set na ito, Paano-ano yan ng set na ito? How are these sets related to this set? And this whole set? Or super set? Yes. Event is a part of sample space. Okay, malapit na. Parte o bahagi. Diba? Pwedeng parte o bahagi. May ibang term para doon. Starts with letter S. Isa rin siyang uri ng set. Nakalimutan nyo na ginaral nyo. Parang bahagi, yung mga laman ng bawat uh, uh, set na yun, bahagi nung entire set, nung kabuhuang set. Yes? Okay, very good, Mr. Kayo. So, yung subset. Nalali mo ang uh, keyword. Subset. Do you remember the term subset? Ano nga ba ibig sabihin pag sinabing sub? SUV? Under, di ba? Under. Ibig sabihin, yung mga set na yan, under nung set na yun. Sub set. So, now, let's define event. Everybody. So, what is the definition of an event? Kung yung, kung yung laman ni sample space, N of S, yung B lang ng laman ni event ay N of T. Okay? O sige, let's go back to our example kanina. Ano nga yung mga possible events under S? Ayan, yung mga possible events. Let's have the N of T. E. For the first one, what is N of T? E? Zero. Zero. Don't answer in chorus, just raise your hand if you want to answer. Yes, Mr. Kenya. N of T is equal to zero. Okay, very good. Walang laman eh. 
Next. Yes, Mr. Mogol. Very good. Yes, Mr. Posa. The fourth one. Yes, Miss Vergara. Very good. Yes, Mr. Pajardo. Ano na rin lang? Napakasisim. Yes, Miss Perante. Yes, Miss Caspio. And the last one. Yes, Miss Guevara. Very good. So, ganun lang yun. Okay? So, let's now have another example. Sometimes, events can be named according to a specific type or category. Pwede tayong magsulat ng event according sa isang specific type or category. Based from the sample space kanina, set containing Maruya Hake Palabo, let us illustrate the following events E and find N of T. So the first one, the event of choosing a sweet snack. Doon ka lang mamimili sa sample space. So sige, isa-isayin natin yan. For number one, who wants to answer? What is our event E? Yes, Ms. Maruya or hotcake. Set containing maruya or hotcake. Very good. Yun lang ba yung matamis doon? Uh, Ang palabog pa matamis? Yeah. Yeah. Ganun yun. Ipili ka lang doon ng matamis. What's N of E? Kung na rin, Mr. Milenia. N of E. Ilan yung laman ng event? Dalawa. 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 <laughs> 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 si Mr. Milenia kung magbutong na kami. Okay, let's have number two. Yes, Mr. Levi, what's the event of choosing a salty snack? Set containing, lagi na gano'n, set containing palabok lang. Yan lang naman yung maalat dun, di ba? Maliban na lang kung nalatan yung hotcake, di ba? What's the end of it? Okay, one. Next, number three, what's the event of choosing spaghetti? Yes, Ms. Espinosa. Set containing wala. Set containing wala. Paano bang gitin yun? Set containing no element. Set containing no elements. Or empty set. Ganun na lang. Empty set. Okay. The number of elements is zero. The part one, what's the event of choosing a snack made of flour? Anyone? Any other hands, please? Any other volunteer? Yes, Miss Perel. Set containing. Set containing maruya. Yun lang ba yung may flour? O yun lang ba yung gawa sa flour? Pwede rin hot cake? Palabo. Palabo. O, parang na-doubt ka. Saan? Ano ba yung, ano nyo, yung noodles, yung pinaka noodles or pasta nun? Gawa ba sa flour? Oo. Yes. So, lahat. What's N of E? N of E. Very good. The last one. What's the event of choosing any available snack? Yes. Mr. Ayman. Kahit ano daw. Choosing any. Okay. Maminabo sa sukong na rin. Ilan? Ilan na kayo elements? Okay, there are three. Alright, so let's now have another example. Makinig kayo mabuti because later on, we will have our group activity. Okay? Makinig mabuti ah. Suppose you roll a pair die once. Now, for your information lang, pag sinabing die, isa lang. Yan yung singular. Isa lang. Pero kapag dice, yun yung kanyang plural form. Ano, alam, alam nyo ba yan? Iba dati ang tawag natin sa isang pirasong ganyan dice. Pero, for your information, dahil lang ang tawag ko. Hindi yan yung dahil na, hindi yan gano'n. Ang plural niya, dice, ganito ang spelling. Pag dice, isa lang. Pero kapag dice, dalawa o higit. Marino ba? Oo. Dalawa o higit. 
Okay, so kunyari, may tayo akong hawak. Tapos, what is our sample space? Ano muna yung sample space natin? Set containing? Okay, that's our sample space. Now, this is what are we going, what we are going to do. Illustrate the following events E that may come out. Okay? Then, find L of E. Ilalarawan daw natin o ira-write natin yung mga event na posibleng lumabas mula dun sa sample space. Okay, let's start. Number one. What is the event that an even number comes out? First of all, what do you mean by an even number? Okay. Take note, an even number is a number divisible by 2. So, what is our event? Yes, Mr. DePetro. What is our event? Doon ka lang mamimili dun sa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 or 4 or 6. Very good. Set containing 2, 4, 6. Mga anak, reminder ko lang ha, pag nagsulat kayo ng event, dapat merong braces. Because it is a set. Pamalian kapag walang ganon. Diba? What's L of E, Mr. DiPetro? Three. Tatlo yun. Naintindihan niyo ba? Yes. Kasi dun sa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, ano lang ba even dun? 2, 4, 6. Next, number 2. The event that an odd number comes out. Any other volunteer? Yes. Mr. Alpha. That's correct. Because an odd number is a number not divisible by 2. Okay, ito lang ang even. So, what's L of E? 3. Kailangan natin yan pa kasi we are, we are preparing ourselves for tomorrow's topic. Our topic for tomorrow is about probability. So, kailangan marunong mo na kayo mag-list ng sample space at ng event. Okay? Let's now proceed to the third question. What is the event that a prime number comes out? First of all, what do we mean by a prime number? Everybody read, what do you mean by a prime number? Ilan lang daw ang factors niya? Dalawa lang. Dalawa lang yung factors niya. Ano yung, ano yung dalawang yun? One at sarili niya lang. Kumbaga, yung number na yun, wala kang ibang maiisip na factors niya, kundi one at sarili niya lang. Say for example, let's start with number one. Is one a prime number? Sige, ano bang factors ng one? Ano bang factor ng 1? 1 times 1. May iba pa ba? O, tignan ninyo. Ilan ang factors niya? Ilan ang factors niya? Isa o dalawa? Dalawa. Dalawa. Pero parehas yan eh. So, bibilangin mo lang yan ng isa lang. Kasi si 1, same lang naman dito sa 1. So, technically, ilan lang talaga ang factor ni 1? Isa. Isa lang. Kasi, 1 times 1, dalawang 1 na yun, same lang naman. So, we will count it as 1 only. So, sabihin nyo ngayon, is 1 a prime number? No. No. Because ano bang meaning ng prime number? Two factors. It has only two. It has two factors. Eh, ito, ilan lang ba ang factor ni 1? Isa lang. So, hindi siya prime number. How about the other numbers? Who can give other numbers there which is which are prime magbigay lang ng isa kung hindi pa din ba no ano pwede yes mr asimpo what is two prime number 
just answer yes or no. Is two a prime number? Yes. Paano mo nasabi? Ano lang bang factors ng two? One times two. Other than one and two, meron pa ba iba? Ilan yung factors niya? Dalawa. One at two. Sarili niya lang, di ba? One at sarili niya. So, two is a prime number. What else? Yeah. Oh, two prime na yun. Isa na yun? Yes, Mr. Uh, Miss Borja. What other numbers there are prime? Bukod sa to, ano pa yung ibang prime na dyan? Three. Okay. Bakit? Ano lang mga factors ng three? One and one times two. One times two, ano yun? Three. Ano ba ang one times two? Three. <laughs> Iha, gano pa na ata. One times three. One times three. Okay pa pa ba? Wala na. So, is three a prime number? Yes. Yes. So, ilan na? Dalawa na. Two and three. Okay, what else? See? Yes, Mr. Evalarosa. Four. O, sige nga. Ano ba factors ng four? One times four. Bukod pa sa 1 times 4, wala na ba siyang ibang factor? Meron pa eh. Ano pa? 2 times 2. Oh, so, is 4 a prime number? 4 is not a prime number. Kasi, bukod sa 1 times 4, may iba pa siyang factor. Maliban doon. Do you get it, class? Do you get it? Okay. So, ano, ano yung mga prime, mga prime number so far? 2 and 3. Oh, ano bang pwede? Yes, Miss Lopez. Okay, bakit? Aside from those factors, are there any other factors? Not, wala na, none. Okay, so prime of five. Is six a prime number? No! Why? Yes. Is six? Dante. Hindi, huwag ka ba? Resign. Bukod sa 1 times 6, may iba pa bang factor? Quiet lang, yan yung last number. Bukod sa 1 times 6, may iba pa bang factor ang 6? Bukod sa 1 times 6. Ha? Ayun, meron pang 3 times 2 eh. Or 3 times 3. So, it is not right. Therefore, what is the event that a prime number comes out? Set containing what? Anyone? Yes, you know. Very good. Take note that one is not prime, ma. One is not prime. So what is 